Hi, my name's Aaron, and today I'm going to take about two minutes to show you how to get the Chameleon snippet installed on your web app. After you've verified your email, the Chameleon dashboard is going to give you a couple options to get started. We're going to install manually, so I'm going to click here on Add Snippet. Now, you can enable with Segment if you have Segment installed on your web app. If you do, I highly recommend that you go that route. But we're going to install manually by clicking there. I'm going to copy the snippet. I'm going to go over here to my web app, and I'm going to paste it in between the head tags. Here we have the opening head tag and the closing head tag of my web app. Go ahead and paste. If your web app has multiple different types of head files, uh, you're going to want to install the same Chameleon snippet on any within any head tags that will show up on pages where you want to show a tour. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and deploy that. And then I'm going to go over here to my web app. And I'm going to refresh. And then I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And I'm going to give that a refresh as well. And what's going to happen is the snippet that I just installed on my web app is going to call out to Chameleon. And it's going to tell us that it's been installed on that site. And sure enough, here on our dashboard, under the sidebar launcher, you can see that we have our app. So I'm going to go ahead and click Visit Site, and that's going to install some cookies on my browser that will let Chameleon know that I'm an admin and that I can see the sidebar. And sure enough, uh, the sidebar has loaded on my app. You can see I've got a bunch of uh, demo tours. Um, for you, this is going to be blank. And if it is, you can uh, go ahead and click Create Tour uh, and start building a tour. But one thing I want to point out, because we're not quite done yet, is if I go here to Developer Tools, we've got an error here. Uncaught reference user is not defined. And this is because we haven't started sending data to Chameleon about what user is logged into my app. So if I go back to my code, um, you can see there's this part of the Chameleon snippet where called Chameleon Identify. And this is where Chameleon gets the data for each user that visits your page. So this is really important. If you don't have this part, uh, users aren't going to see your tours. You can keep building, but nobody's going to see your tours. Uh, the Identify method takes three properties. Um, first of all, there's the UID or unique user ID. Um, there's the email of the user. And then there's the created at date. Uh, email and created are not required, uh, but they are super helpful for you building tours. We can drive a lot of data from that, and you can uh, change which tours are shown when, which is super helpful. So I have a property called user data, and I'm going to go ahead and insert it. Uh, and this is just the data on my page from the user. And this is how I would add that data from the from JavaScript. You could also add this data from Ruby, from PHP, um, from just about any language. Um, we've got a couple of code examples uh, on our in our docs, so be sure and check those out. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to just deploy that. And we can see that deploying. And so if I go back over to my app and I refresh, you can see no more errors. And so now Chameleon is receiving data from each of my users. And that data is allowing Chameleon to show tours to only the users I want and uh, know which users have seen tours so they don't see them again. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're here to help. Uh, otherwise, do check out the docs because we got a lot of good information there. Thanks so much, and thanks for choosing Chameleon.